Hey guys, in today's video I want to do a recap and try to clarify some of the information on a couple of the videos I did on the G0602. There seems to be some questions about the tachometer display and how to incorporate that into Mach 3 so that you can use that signal in order to do threading. Now this tack I picked up from eBay and it's basically just a three wire tack. You want to make sure that you get the one that uses the magnet. Now the magnets that come with these aren't really as good so what I did was I went to Home Depot and bought some super magnets. They were four or five dollars. And they work really well. So you can see the back of this display here. You have three wires. The yellow wire is our signal wire. And that's the wire that we're going to be using. Uh, not only to drive our display here. But also we're going to send that signal to Mach 3. Now this particular tack is 12 volt tack. And so when you supply 12 volts to it the signal wire coming out of it just so happens to put out right about 5 volts when it's activated and that works just great for Mach 3 so what we do is we we just split that signal where it ties to the display and we also run a wire from there back to our breakout board as an input to Mach 3 for our index signal so what I did was I sort of recompiled some video that I had shot previously and so I'll kind of explain that as we go along. And then now I need to put a proximity switch for our tachometer. Now if you look at these two proximity switches you'll know there's, notice there's a difference. And the difference is, this one right here is looking for a magnet. And this one right here is looking for steel. The best way to identify these is the one that requires, the one that has the built-in magnet and is just looking for steel, it usually has this uh, thicker plastic head rather than the one right here. This one is actually looking for a magnetic uh, uh, to pull the contacts and close them. And this one, it already has it in there. It's just looking for steel. And once it gets in close proximity to steel, then it will close the contacts. So because our spindle is solid steel, I'm going to go with the one that requires a magnet. And what I've got is just these super magnets and what I'm actually going to do is just tape this to the spindle and run some electrical tape around and I think that's going to be plenty to hold it. I've seen people put um, like JB Weld or some kind of epoxy but I'm just going to put some electrical tape around it. Now you can see this one sticks to this because it's a magnet where this one doesn't just wants to fall off. What I've done is made a bracket and I just took a piece of aluminum uh, aluminum sheet metal I drilled a hole in it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and get the magnet taped on there and then we'll get this mounted and I'll see if I can get you a close-up picture of how it's mounted in there. Okay, so we've got our proximity switch installed for our tack, and now I've got my wire coming from my electronics enclosure going up to my tack display. This is the plug from the tack display. Uh, basically, got yellow as my signal, red is positive 12 volts, and green is negative 12 volts. And I'm just going to solder these connections up real quick really happy 
with this uh, digital tack setup. Uh, if you refer back to the uh, some of my earlier videos, you'll see me when I install the front panel and I install and hook this tack up. I think I paid like $12 or $13 or something off eBay for this tack. And so what I did was, let me just turn that on. So what I did was, this tack operates on 12 bolts. And so what I did was I just ran 12 bolts to the tack from my power supply. And the signal, there's three wires, uh, one power and then one signal. And the, three, the third wire, the signal wire coming off, I just brought it up to the tachometer and then also hooked it into Mach 3 on one of the inputs. It puts out uh, 5 volts or 2 point something volts. And so that's enough for Mach to recognize the index pulse. It seems to be working good. So thanks for watching the video. Please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Thumbs up if you liked the video. Please subscribe. And most importantly, be safe.